Great job by Syracuse. It was a heck of a game. Dino's got that team playing really well. Done a great job with them. Got some senior leadership in those receivers and quarterback and defensively. Uh, did some nice things in the game. So very, they, they did a great job. Uh, very proud of our guys. Like I said, competed heart, a lot of heart and soul. And always play smart. And always do things we got to do. And, that, and when you play young guys, that's part of what you're going to grow through. You got to learn to go through it. They got to grow through it. They got to learn and you got to teach. But their ability to compete and do things was was uh, you know their heart and soul was in it so got better learned to overcome made scored enough points hit some big plays in the first half okay, and third down when I knew it going in we, were, we weren't very good at all we didn't do very good uh, they hit some big third and longs which is very disappointing uh, and some key things but uh, a couple times uh, I had a little interference on one or two there threw some guys out of the way but uh, would have helped but uh, didn't get called but uh, you know our punter did a nice job in the game uh, Ricky hit the big field goal was huge Right there in the second half uh, to do that, but our kids overcome enough and come out and one, and you know that sometimes that's what it needs to jump start you. And got one one down the books. Got to keep going one at a time. Questions, Coach? Uh, how impressed were you with your freshman back there today with Blackman and? Uh... Blackman did a good job. We got to protect him a little better. He had some chances to make some plays. He misread a couple things. Had had an opportunity to hit a big touchdown throw there, but his toughness, his competitiveness, his ability to make the big throw in the first drive was very impressive. Cam was out, you know, ran the ball extremely well. Uh, had a nice little screen catch on one, but big plays, finished runs, hit the home run, which is, you know, and he did the home run the right way, not craziness, but with good hard runs and then split it and, and ran, and, you know, he had an outstanding day. Very proud of him. Jim, can you talk about the, the confidence of winning at home today and how that relates to going on the road next Well, time? it is. It's, I mean, you got to get them one at a time. you just got to learn to play and you learn to fight through, and all of a sudden, that's the word. You, you hit the key word in ball, confidence. All of a sudden, if you, you pull those games out and you hear coaches say, and I've heard coaches, you know, they won that close game, they won that close game, and all of a sudden your confidence goes and all of a sudden it takes off. When you lose one or two and then three like we have, all of a sudden you're like, oh, what's wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? And learning to get through that hump can be huge and, and believing in yourself. And that, that's a big part of what happens. That's exactly right. Great question. Jim, that finish could have been a carbon copy of the Louisville mm -hmm. game. It was. Uh, and there were some other issues that kind of continue, but what do you think the difference was in turning a game like that into a victory state? Yeah, just keep fine, just keep sawing wood. Wasn't no big, there wasn't no secret. Guts, make plays when you gotta make them. They had a chance for a field goal and they missed it. Un, you know, unfortunate for that kind, and, and I hate to say that, I love our team, but I feel it for their kicker. I hate I hate when that happens for a kid, because he's got parents and things too, and, I, and but, because uh, he made some good kicks in the day. And, uh, but our kid's gonna keep fighting, I'm gonna keep trusting him, and it wasn't, a, you know, what we had to do, put him in position, keep learning from it, and move on. He did. Down. He had some big third down stop. Well, I wish he could held on that one. He made a big interception in the first drive. He could held on that one that other, but he's getting cut as it did it. But you know, he really his heart and soul and his ability to compete and you know, people question whether they're gonna play hard or what they're gonna do. Don't question that. What do you think to play hard. What what do you what do you think are the most important things moving forward to uh, try to make a bowl game this season? Keep playing hard. Saw him wood, don't worry about the bowl game. Biggest thing, don't even think about the bowl game. Biggest thing is thinking about playing well that week and practicing well, and understand that's in the back of your mind. You got that responsibility. Forty years of winning, thirty-five bowl games. You got that. That's the burden you, you took when you came here. Now carry it and go play your tail off and practice in the games. Hey, Mo, did you did you notice that early on that they were they were competing at the level you wanted them to? Compete yes, at? they did every game last week. They just got shocked on the road and have all year. I don't. I didn't ever doubt it. Never doubted it in practice when we went back to practice this week. All y'all did. Jimbo, can you talk about the run game? He did. He ran the ball well and finished big runs. And we were in, I'm going to tell you, we were one block away from about four more runs that just gashed. We just, one guy misses a block and it, it was, they're out the gate for some more. But that's ball. You got to keep making. We're still not playing efficient enough, not playing smart enough. I mean, you know, uh, Hampshire on a fourth down stop on an interception throws it back in bounds. I mean, and now, it, now, does it come from a bad spot? No. It's because he's wanting to, he said, I saw somebody there and I thought he could catch it and go. I mean, it's from wanting to make a play. But that's what happens when you play youth. But the ability to be there and make – how about this ability to make that play? I mean, things like that. But the running game, those young guys playing Stanford Samuels, playing Kane Doe, playing uh, Cyrus Fagan in the game. I mean, all those young guys, you know, because of injuries and guys banged up, they're getting their opportunities. And they're going to be really good players, and they got to learn. they got to go through it all. Jim, the defense made some really big stops in the second half. Now, they, they drove the last couple series. They ended up with, I think, 95 plays. Is that, is that part of the reason why maybe the defense faltered a little bit? No, I didn't think if I mean – just had their plays and opportunities, kept giving them too many bats and getting off the field on third down. That was it. We got to get third and long 
we got to figure out a way to do a better job, and we got to pick up a couple more for on, on offense. That's a shame. Big thing, it shouldn't even been out there. We're third and one. we got to get the, that snap executed and get it up. They went two ones, which pinches, and maybe that snap doesn't come up like that, and you got to clean that up. But uh, they shouldn't even been out there. Offensively, we should have took that first down there and ran the clock up. Coach, there's two long touchdown runs for Cam. Of course, Nooney gets that big touchdown pass at the beginning. Was it nice to finally get the offense and some chunk plays? you got to. If you don't have chunk plays, you're not going to be a great offense. You can draw it up any way you want. You can draw up. Drive, you go those 12, 14 play drives are all great. You don't do a lot of those. Like we had, so I was proud of the Duke game. Y'all, we didn't score points, but we had four drives of 14 plays or more. That's hard to do. It's, it's, it's a challenge. But you got to hit chunk plays and you got to finish in big areas. And they did, and that's the key. It's like hitting threes. You can shoot twos all day, but you got to have some threes in basketball. You got to have, you got to hit your home runs. The guys that are, when they get in space, they got to finish runs and put it in the end zone. I was proud of those guys for doing it. Dude, Ricky and Logan both made some really big plays on special teams for you. Yes, huge. Hit good punts. Logan had a really good day, then he missed a couple there at the end. He had some really good – could have had an unbelievable day. Ricky hit the big field goals. I mean, it was it was good. In contrast, the kickers, like you said, was to know that he's reliable. So on the 49 yard, it kind of gets some – Yeah, I mean, he, we feel comfortable. He is, that's where we finish up every day. We finish up around the 50, 52, somewhere in that range every day. And he, we feel very consistent with him in that, that, you know, it's just like a normal kick. He feels very comfortable. Jim, but you gave DJ another shot after that fumble, and he, had, he gave you a good punt return. Uh, was there any doubt about – did you have anybody else you think about? Ain't, ain't a lot of people or? left to put in there. <laughs> Who else are you gonna put in there? I mean, we we've tried them all, and probably we've done it all. So, and it, was, it just in there. There's another example. DJ did, but wanting to go make a play. That ain't the time to make a play. Youth and ability, and and, and, and all you guys, you understand? Well, he's got this guy, young guy, got ability. This guy got ability. He's a five star. All you, yeah, but you got to learn to play. And there's nothing wrong. They got to go through trials and tribulations. And he's wanting to go make a play. That's the time. Just give me the ball. We got the ball coming out the second half. You know, it's just give me a fair catch and go. But he, he is natural as a day is long doing it. He's extremely natural doing it. Probably one of the most natural I've ever been around as far as catching the ball and, and just got to learn to make better decisions, and that's going to come with experience. How you get experience? Put him in the game. Joe, cool. how, how redeeming is this win? You spoke about the doubt that your team has after last week and this 2-5 and five start. How redeeming is this Well, it feels time? good. Now he's got to go do it again. I mean, it, it makes it happy again. The locker room's happy, and, and that's the whole key. I mean, when guys say, well, we're not having fun. Well, you don't have fun when you lose. You have fun when you win, you have success. And to do that, you got to go prepare to have success. You got to practice. You got to watch film. You got to play hard. Then you got to go do it. And then you got to fight, scratch, and claw. And that locker room was happy, and they were happy. And it's great to see it in their face. Because as their coach, just like I said, I have kids too that play ball. I know when they're happy, when they do well. As a coach, you love seeing that look on your player's face. You love to see the joy in their eyes when they've succeeded and had something good happen to them. Jim, with all the pressure that their offense puts on defense, kind of have to, I don't say concede something, but you not get too worried about the yardage? Well, you do, but you got to play some of those things a little tight. I still think we got a little soft on a couple things right there, and we got to play more aggressive in some situations. But they did a nice job of containing things. But, again, it was mainly the third down stuff. I had them on a lot of third and sevens, eights, nines, tens. You know, we got to do a better job there. We know that. But uh, you do concede some things, but I think we could have tightened some things a little bit. But I was very proud of our defense, the way they competed. So, what you about a guy like Naughty to lead you in tackles against that offense? Fast. Well, we practice there. what we do. I mean, he. If we, I, when you play like you do and you get Oki, he's a zero nose. And they, if they double, then they're going to free some other guys up and they got single block and you're not going to single block, him, you know, and get the push. And Derek, I said, has played outstanding football all year. And he's, a, he's an unbelievable leader and a great guy. Jim, but when they had that roughing the passer, when uh, the, the defensive end kind of took Blackman down, I don't know if you saw Akers was the first one to just go run up to him, give him a little stiff arm. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> no. I, he needs to go back, pick the quarterback up, and I, I appreciate that. Maybe say something, but walk away. Because then you full run and get a 15 yard penalty. Just like Derrick Kelly did in the, in the Louisville game. Because then all of a sudden, now you get to push him, ask them what happens. You get 15 more. I, lo I mean, I love that. And myself, I probably would have done I'd probably got up myself and said something. I, that was the way I I mean, I understand that. But like I tell him, do as I say, not as I do. Okay? But, but I understand that. But at the same time, again, toughness. The guys who play with great toughness and intensity, but you got to play with intelligence. There's a time to do those things and pick your moments, and you got to be smart when you don't. But I love the competitors. I mean, he's right there for his teammate now. They're going to fight for each other now. Say something about him the very next play. He goes, he takes it to the house. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's one to play. He's competitive. He was ready to roll. On the third one, did, did you see that James was down? Did he tell you that he was down? Mm -hmm. He said he was down. And it, it, on his knee, when he said, I picked it up, and his knee was on the ground. I, I saw him, I thought, pick it up. And I, when we asked him, and they said it was. Snap just they went two ones down in there, and then and everybody tries to get in, and you, you got to get down in, and that ball gets pinched off. And that, that, as crazy as that sounds, people say, Well, you go get a yard. When people get two ones on you, the hardest thing in the world to do sometimes is run a sneak. 
because of the pressure it puts on the center when they take both legs out to get your hips down in there and you get knocked back. Now you can step aside and there's an art to it, but it's a lot harder than you think. And that's kind of what happened on that play. Um, you guys uh, made a lot of big plays today, but you guys were also one for 13 on third down. How do you Awful. rectify that problem uh, going You got to go back and work at it. I knew going in. And I said, hey, third down, we had done a real good job for a while. Earlier we struggled, then we got for about three game stretch, we were really good, about 50%. Now we just got to go back and practice it and make sure we know what we're doing. And some of that was them and some of that was us. It was, it was a mixture of both. John, after the game, it looked like you and President Thrasher kind of shared a moment there. Can you talk about what was? No, John. John's unbelievably supportive. He's a tremendous president. Loves athletics. He's for us 100. percent And uh, what we're doing, and just happy. He's just there supporting us like he is all the time. Good or bad, John's always there. I mean, John's always been there. He's a the forefront. He's an honest guy. You can talk to him. You get good answers out of. I mean, he's one of the best guys I've ever worked with. And I'm not saying that because you know, listen, he, he's a straight shooter, and it's like I am. We don't we don't have to mix words and. He's a happy guy who supports all of his athletics in this school. He's a tremendous guy. Jimbo, with the big runs, is it just with Cam now more confident and patient? And yeah, learning what to do. Learning, We're blocking better. We're getting better blocks. we got some down. Also, our receivers did a good job downfield on second and third levels, which allowed him to make some cuts and his patience to know his scheme and what's going on. Jimbo, to win the bowl, is, a bowl is now very much a possibility mm -hmm. for you guys. Is that, I mean, important for you and your staff to keep that incredible streak going at FSU? Yeah, heck yeah. I mean, it's probably the obligation you got here. You have 40. Nobody's ever won 40 straight winning season, 35 straight bowl games. I mean, yes, I mean, that's very important. But at the same time, you can't let that paralyze you. you got to understand how you got to go play in the game. That, and like I told them, if that doesn't make you want to strive to practice hard and play hard of the legacy you left, and, I, and I'm going to tell you what, the, the respect those guys, the 2019 that gutted itself back in and made those plays to keep the winning bowl streak alive like we did against Maryland, we're down, we throw a pick with three minutes to go. Remember, remember that, Dan, we're down three and throw a pick with three minutes to go. Defense walks out and gets a hold. They punt a little ball to a little guy named Greg Reed who wasn't supposed to catch it inside the 10 and reaches outside the line and catches it and runs it back to the other 40. And then the young freshman quarterback who had three interceptions in the game, E.J. Manuel, scrambles and runs down the five and Lonnie Pryor scores and we go on. The pride that team had to keep that alive, same thing this one has. And, and, and hopefully they'll do and, and play through. Now, there's a lot of ball. I mean, we got a lot of football we got to play and some big wins we got to have. But, you know, they're playing for it. There ain't no doubt. And it's very important to us because that's the legacy of this school, and that's what it's about. It's one of the reasons they want to come here, one of the reasons I want to coach here. That's big, but you can't let it paralyze you. Go play. Coach, what do you think are the chances of this UL Monroe game being rescheduled? I hope probably most likely will. I mean, we'll have to talk to Stan. We'll see. We'll make, we'll make, those, we'll make those decisions and let us know. Jim, you seem irritated that people have suggested that the team quit. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I am very irritated. And you said it. You want well, 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 oh, wait a minute. You say, well, 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 you sound like a player now. Well, I ain't the only one who made a mistake. I ain't the only one who made a mistake. He made a mistake too. I did say it. You said it. You did. No, but I'm asking. They didn't quit. You never saw that at all. No. I know what. I know what happened. I know why it happened. And that is something. That's something you're never gonna see us do. Right? You can write that. All right. Thank you. It's funny, yeah. It's going to be Aquayo, James, Taylor, and Naughty, and that's it.